Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing, but that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. And maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, <laughs> give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you round. Yep, up, up, and away. The Omega Charter series, book one, title, Diplomacy's Edge. Hmm. When his best friend is killed by a Langley-approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan, CIA analyst Nick Sparta quits the agency in protest. Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. However, when a dying Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged USB key containing fragments of the mysterious Omega Charter, Nick Sparta is forced back into the deadly world of espionage. A sinister cabal of powerful individuals are orchestrating a coup d'etat that could potentially destabilize the entire region, and Nick is the only one with the knowledge and skills to thwart them. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, how do I use that ass Strandberg and all? 
this. Perhaps... Perhaps Omega are using the Strandberg character as a lightning rod. They allow him to escape and take shelter at the embassy in Cairo, expecting riots to break out. That is perfect! I should probably make him Norwegian or Danish. No, wait. Finnish. That's suitably exotic. Cynical banker Yako Arola. Yeah. Yes, I like the sound of that. Now, so far so good. So where does all this lead? So, what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So, he, uh, he got cold feet and tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart. But, uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. No! for a second that Zayden is masterminding this coup by himself? Come on. He doesn't have the smarts. He can strike the fear of God into men and charm the knickers off most women. But you and I both know Reza Zayden is no mastermind. 
<laughs> I hear you, brother. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Is... is someone in here? Hello? That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. <sighs> Time to decide. What should I do? But don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. So what will be, old friend? Firing squad? Poison? Hanging? So many choices. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. One time, I was never even there. stuff they sell to the tourists. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wise choice. Yeah. I'll come back in five minutes. I'll pack this all up for you. Meanwhile, you know, have a look around. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself.
Camera guy, what's up? cameraman. He's a freelance guy. He'll be fine. Oh, well, if you're not worried, Tyler, then I'm not worried. After all, it's not like this is a very important interview. I mean, it's certainly not like it's an exclusive or anything. Pam, you remember that talk we had about low blood sugar? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is one of those times. Oh, so where is this guy anyway? He'll be here. And you, have a banana, for Christ's sake. Finally, where have you been? Sorry, I'm late. Streets aren't safe. Stromberg has not been convicted of any crime, so we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the seven building. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations, the trial, uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. Tyler, I got this. Right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. They won. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. A uh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that hey is there, not Mr. my call. Cameraman. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Watch it! Easy, boy. A 
Aha, Capital, you made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Stanford. Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. Just need to frisk you, sir. Won't be long now. Okay. How was that for you, huh? <laughs> Three weeks ago, the police showed up on your doorstep and you were arrested for billions of dollars in misappropriation. Such were the charges, yes. Do you have any explanation to these accusations? Well, I can only conclude that the Moroccan authorities must have misunderstood their own legislation. Misunderstood? How do you mean? None of those transactions were illegal. Everything was done in strict accordance with Moroccan law. Now, you might call it a loophole. You might call it a creative bookkeeping. But the law is the law, Miss Kingsley. And I am a firm believer in the law. Uh, let me get this straight, Mr. Stramberg. You are openly admitting to taking this money, the seven billion dollars from the Moroccan people? Why not? An opportunity presented itself, and I seized it. Again, all within the confines of the law. So, uh, what should I apologize for? Hmm? Being a capitalist? <laughs> Perhaps the term has fallen out of favor with your middle-class viewers, Miss Kingsley, but me? I bear that brand proudly. Capital C. <clears throat> if you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning, claiming the lives of six police officers? Well, that I'm afraid uh, I cannot answer. Some philanthropist, uh, sympathetic to my ordeal, no doubt. I appreciate the gesture, but the approach was somewhat excessive and really quite unnecessary. I would have walked free eventually once justice had run its due course. Mr. Stramberg, hundreds are gathered outside this very building, howling for your blood. Is there anything you wish to say to them? Um, two little words. Fuck you. Pam, we need to call it a wrap. I think the damn hard drive overheated. I do, Miss Kingsley. Hey, hey! Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. been solving oh okay well if I have to explain it one more time look you had a two for one deal I, I know you yeah because they they were talking yeah two for one deal but then shipping and handling ended up costing more than the original deal in the first place how come that's never listed well I didn't see it no and I no I do pay attention when I look 
Look, here, here's, here's the thing. I would just like to return both of them. No, I'm not going to pay for shipping if I have to return them. No, look, look, can you just put your supervisor on? Put your... Hello? Oh, not again. Mr. Cameraman, how are you? Ever heard the expression, truth is stranger than fiction? What the hell? Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 